Sponsored by Ukrainian Credit Union. Believe it or not, it's Ron Kuhut with Stay Ukrainian, my friends. We're Cossack children of history. Well, I'm standing in the Wealth Strategies office of the Ukrainian Credit Union, uh, and I am with uh, Michael Zinchuk, and uh, I'm with Katerina Litvinyuk, and they are instrumental in, a, in planning and bringing forth a project that the Ukrainian Credit Union has taken on, um, Unbroken Blossoms, um, to help the uh, rehabilitation of the soldiers in Ukraine. Катерина, як це почалося все? Наш проект розпочався з лютого місяця минулого року і розпочалося за ініціативою моєї подруги, яка живе у Львові і якраз була волонтером у військовому госпіталі. Вона знайшла іншого волонтера Юрія Ліпара, якого всі знали лікарі і знали ті бійці поранені. Їм було легше так проходити в госпіталь, тому що туди не всіх пускали. І... Вони контактували з лікарями, питалися, які бійці найгірше поранені, яким найгірше треба, найбільше треба, потрібна допомога. І з того почалося так. Насправді, наші бійці поранені – це бійці, які мали поранення несумісті з життям. І багатьом було зроблено багато операцій, і, на жаль, більшість з них не ходять. Навіть, щоб викликати сюди двох солдатів, нам треба було дуже довго подумати, кого би нам запросити сюди, щоб вони могли хоч якось пересуватися, тому що переважно вони всі або лежачі, або на візках, на інвалідних візках. Although a lot of them had their surgeries covered, the rehabilitation costs were not covered by the government necessarily. And a lot of them needed uh, a month or two months or maybe even longer of rehabilitation. So the, the, the surgeons there turned to Yuri Lipar, our volunteer, and said, can you find financial support for these poor guys because they really need it? And so when Yuri turned to Katerina and uh, Katerina's friend from Lviv and said, look, uh, is there anything you guys can do? We, Katerina started gathering money from her friends and then after realized that there's just too many of them, we need to open this up. And so we decided to open it up to uh, all the members of the Ukrainian Credit Union. Um, and we started hanging uh, small little write-ups of each of the soldiers who needed the surgeries and what kind of wounds they had and from which military units they had come. And we started posting that in all the branches of the Ukrainian Credit Union. And uh, we started this in February of 2015 and people really opened up their hearts and started to donate. And uh, over, it's, we're just over a year, and we've raised over $75,000, even close to $80,000. What, what we wanted to do then is uh, bring these soldiers over uh, for two reasons. They wanted to say thank you to the Hromada here in, in Toronto and in Canada that have been so generous and have been giving through the Ukrainian Credit Union. But at the same time, a lot of the people here will get a chance to actually see where the money went to, how these soldiers have actually used it, and how um, beneficial it was to them and their families, because a lot of them won't be able to work, and so this financial support goes a long way for them. You know, often they ask the question, why we help the individual soldiers, why we don't help, for example, in the rehabilitation center or something else. First, I want to say that every project is needed in Ukraine. Тому що Україна є така країна, що там кожен проєкт вони, як кажуть, одобряють. Я хочу сказати таку річ. Наприклад, такий поранений Філіп Сонов, про нього багато всі чули і бачили його по телебаченню і по газетах читали. Він мав 52 операції, тому що міна зірвалася, 52 операції. Йому міна зірвалася в животі, прошила бронежилет, зірвалася в животі. І він мав страшне поранення ніг. І 52 операції, три з них він робив в Австрії. Кожна операція в Австрії коштувала йому 40 тисяч євро. Кажуть, держава допомагає, держава їм платить. Він був в Збройних силах, він є герой, він нагороджений. Чи ви думаєте, що по 40 тисяч євро, скільки би держава йому могла дати на операцію? Ні. Це всі гроші дали волонтери. Держава дає зовсім-зовсім мало, насправді. Ми просто спасаємо тих, тих допомагаємо вернутися до життя, допомагаємо е, заплатити собі на якийсь, е, якийсь місяць е, в реабіліційному центрі в Модричах. Там за один день для легко поранених 1795 гривень. 
Це є, це є великі гроші на Україні. А якщо ми передаємо, ми, ми чому ми таку суму почали передавати? Тому що колись там було 1200 американських доларів, зараз вони вже підняли до 1700. Але принаймні ми не одні такі волонтери і вони ну, назбирують собі. Цей ж Зябліцев, що приїжджає Вадим, він, йому дуже потрібно, ці, ці Модричі, дуже потрібно попасти туди, але він не може собі того дозволити, тому що ті гроші, що ми йому дали, він використав собі на операцію, він їздив за границю. А тепер у Модричі він каже, я ж не піду на тиждень, то йому не варто то, що залишилося. І тому не кожен може собі дозволити. Модричі є, окей, багато реабіліційних центрів є, але щоб туди попасти, це треба великі гроші. І якби не волонтери, то би наші хлопці не могли туди попасти. Yeah. So what we wanted to focus in on, knowing that a soldier who has lost an arm or a leg will not be able to go back to work and uh, provide for his family, we wanted to at least give them a sum of money that would carry them for several months and maybe up to a year. So we've been giving uh, each soldier uh, $1,200. We, we know that our Hromada here in Toronto is extremely generous. Uh, as soon as uh, the troubles in Ukraine started up, immediately rallied to raise money, uh, to raise awareness, um, to contact the Canadian media about the situation in Ukraine. And we've been able to raise a lot of money. But the problem is, is when there's a war on, there's so many different aspects that require financial support. So there's a lot of money being spent everywhere. We wanted to focus just on the fact that these soldiers are going to have an extremely difficult time uh, earning uh, and providing for their families. And so we wanted to make sure we give them at least a decent amount of money that'll get them through a certain period. Obviously, it's not enough. We need more, which is why we wanted this uh, Unbroken Blossoms, Nizlam Neitzvit, which is part of the UCU Helps Ukraine project, to invite these soldiers so that our Hromada could see them. We're going to have uh, presentations, organized video presentations. The two soldiers that we've invited, uh, Ihor Šoltis and Vadim Zyablitsev, along with our volunteer on the ground in Lviv, Yuri Lipar, uh, who's worked so much with the military hospital in Lviv on many, many different fronts. We wanted them to come and tell their stories to our Hromada so they can see and hear and especially all those who have given through UCU Helps Ukraine to see these people and say, oh, this is where my money went. It went to individuals like this. I can finally hear their story directly from them on how much it has really helped them. Every soldier that we've given money to, and I think we've given over 45 uh, individuals have received financial support from our project. Each one of them has handwritten a thank you letter uh, with their phone numbers that we could call and verify that they received the money and they've also given us a little video clip uh, and Katarina has been gathering all of that and we have all of this. So we're going to be showing this during the presentations. Uh, we've organized um, uh, four main uh, presentations that we hope our Hromada will come and support, uh, take part in, uh, attend. Uh, we've got uh, one in Oakville at the St. Volodymyr Cultural Center on June 5th. It's going to be a fairly short presentation because the soldiers just arrive on the 2nd of June. They'll be here to the 15th. So on the 5th of June will be a, a fairly short presentation at the St. Volodymyr Cultural Center on June 5th. It's part of the Eastern Eparchy of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada Family Day. There's a picnic, pig roast, things like that. We also have on June 8th uh, a, a big presentation which will be larger than the one in Oakville. Uh, at uh, the Ukrainian National Federation Hall, uh, Trident Hall uh, at uh, 145 Evans Avenue. That'll be June 8th. We're selling tickets for $20 in advance and 25 at the door. We want that to be a fundraiser. We also have an event on uh, June uh, 10th in Hamilton uh, at the UNO Hall there. And uh, we're going to culminate this with a big banquet at uh, the Dormition of the Mother of God Ukrainian Catholic Church on Kothra. We're selling tickets for $50, but that's going to, going to include a concert, a full meal, as well as the full presentation with the soldiers. And so we really hope that's our big fundraising event, and we really hope to sell out that event because that, all the proceeds from that event will go directly to the soldiers.
and uh, these three will be able to take that money back and Yuri Lipar will be able to start to distribute to all the other soldiers that we haven't been able to get to yet. Ми дуже просимо підтримати нас, підтримати, купити квитки, прийти, підтримати тих бійців, тому що дуже багато людей поступає з війни і їм всім потрібна допомога. На жаль, наша держава ще не в силі допомогти всім, тому вони без нас просто будуть пропадати ті хлопці. Ми назвали свій проєкт «You see you helps Ukraine – Unbroken Blossoms» по-англійськи «Незламний цвіт». Чому? Тому що зараз весна, цвіт, починає цвісти дерева, і ці хлопці молоді, їм по 20-25 років, тому Ігорю Шолтису 20, а Зябліцому Вадиму 25 років. Вони так, як той молоденький цвіт, знаєте, розпустився, вони ще в житті мало прожили, але вже так багато бачили, бачили ту страшенну війну, бачили ті болі, бачили ті нещастя. І тому і не зламалися. Тому ми рахуємо, що цей цвіт не зламний, що це буквально найкраща назва для нашого проекту. And just uh, you know to conclude, I just want to uh, underline that we have several events uh, in Oakville uh, at the Uno Hall on Evans, um, in Hamilton at the Uno Hall there, but uh, the one we want to really focus in on is for people to be um, uh, to consider finding the time to come to the Dermission of the Mother of God Ukrainian Catholic Church on Kothra. Uh, that event, we're selling tickets for $50. Jana Bilik, Oleg Buncha, Eskender Bek Mambetov will be performing. There'll be a full meal and we'll have a full presentation with the soldiers and the volunteers. So we really look forward to seeing uh, our whole Hromada pick up those tickets and make this a wonderful event. Well, thanks for sharing your time with us. Um, make sure you people come out. Sponsored by Ukrainian Credit Union. Believe it or not, it's Ron Kuhut with Stay Ukrainian, my friends. We're Cossack children of history.